Hey guys, this is Bharatwaj with phoneareena.com and this is the Nokia X that we unboxed recently. So a lot of you have been asking us a lot of questions about this phone and this video is an answer to one particular question. How the heck does multitasking work on the Nokia X? That's what I'm going to answer to you in this video. So the UI as you know is heavily modified. So Nokia doesn't uh, give you a multitasking tray to swipe away the apps so everything that you use comes to the fast lane so the fast lane is the way to manage your multitasking apps or is it we initially thought it is the way to manage the apps but not so so this is the recently used apps that comes in the fast lane and if you want to close up any of those apps we initially thought that hitting the X button here will close it but unfortunately it doesn't so even if I for example open up a game let's say Flappy Bird and uh, I minimize it by long pressing the back button which takes me to home and now I close it again let's see if it resumes from the start or opens from the first as you can see it resumed from the start so it's technically not multitasking I mean the multitasking does work so the apps do run in the background that's good but you cannot manage those apps running in the background so I found a really cool trick to make the uh, multitasking tray work so the multitasking tray is actually present in this operating system this is obviously Android uh, Android AOSP so obviously it is present here so how to bring that up there is a nifty app called multitask shortcut to bring up the recent apps so you can see that the recent apps I opened you can uh, you have seen them in the fast lane the exact same things are present here and if you close them it actually closes so if you see I'll open flappy bird and it starts from the first so that's how you do multitasking the real multitasking on the Nokia X unfortunately there is no button for it but you have to install this app and click this button to get this tray so you can see all these apps are still open they are not closed so that's why uh, you really need this because uh, the RAM on this is very less it's 512 MB of RAM so you get around 188 MB of idle free memory so you obviously need to close down apps but even better is another app that's very popular and all, already uh, you know, used since 2.3, that's Advanced Task Killer. So all these apps are present here. I can just kill them and then you know, just get rid of them. That's it. So if I go back to the launcher, a part of it starts. And now we can see that all these apps that I used are closed. So for example, Twitter takes time and it opens again. So that is how you do multitasking on the Nokia X. So do download this app. I'm not going to tell you where and how. It's called Multitask Shortcut. You can find the APK somewhere or probably, uh, I, I don't know how you're going to download it. I download it from some source. So this is the best way to do multitasking on the Nokia X. And if you want more control, you already have the Advanced Task Killer, which is available on a third-party app store. So there's a lot more to show you. You would have seen some other things in this video itself. We'll be showing you that in other videos, but this is purely about multitasking and how it works on the Nokia X. So there you go. You saw it and you now know if it works or not. Finally, concluding, I would say that multitasking does work. It apps run in the background and you can also manage them using these utility apps. So that's it for the video. Do the like button if you like this and do the subscribe button if you want more Nokia X videos like these. And let us know what you think in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.